from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. Sponsored by Intel and AWS. Welcome everyone to theCUBE Live and our coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. It's good to have you. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. Today we are joined by Mira Vaidyanathan. She is the product leader for Amazon Honeycode at AWS. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE, Mira. My pleasure to be here. So tell our viewers a little bit about Amazon Honeycode. This was a product that was announced in June of this year. What was the impetus for it? What were you hearing from customers that made you realize there is a need for this? Yeah, so Amazon Honeycode is a fully managed service that allows customers to build powerful mobile and web applications without the need for any programming. So customers um, today have a growing need uh, to manage data over time, manage workflows that involve multiple people, that facilitate complex business processes. And today we're doing this through spreadsheets and mailing these spreadsheets via email. And what ends up happening is you have a whole lot of spreadsheets with different data and it usually falls to one person to consolidate all the information and create a source of truth. Um, organizations that have the resources to build custom applications do so, but quite often these applications just don't get built and um, employees in these businesses are managing with these uh, band-aid set of tools that I just discussed. And um, so what we wanted to do was to build a uh, no code uh, app building platform that customers can use their existing skills to build the apps that they need for their day-to-day -day lives. So no programming required. You bring the skills you have, just uh, you know, those of using spreadsheets to be able to build uh, apps to manage um, all of your productivity and collaboration needs. So That's what has what the tried to do with Honeycode? What has the reception been since you launched back in June? What are, what are you hearing from developers about how it's changed the way they're they're doing their business? Customers are very excited that AWS now has a solution in this space. And from the very first day, from the day of launch, we've uh, just seen a lot of interest from organizations of all sizes, both domestic and international. And customers have been building apps to solve various problems. In fact, the very first app that a customer shared with us was uh, a COVID tracking app for a childcare center in New Hampshire, where uh, you know parents had been standing you know in line for tens of minutes waiting to drop off their children and filling out a form at the entry point. And uh, this uh, customer built an app over a weekend uh, and was able to deploy it, reducing the drop off time to minutes. Um, we've also seen a great deal of activity in our community forum where customers are exchanging ideas and learning from each other. And what they really like about Honeycode is how easy it is to spin up an application without needing to think about databases or servers or deployments. And they also like that by building just one app, it, it's immediately available in both web and in mobile. And um, of course, the best of all is the fact that all of the data is up to date and they're able to make uh, informed decisions based on the data in these apps. Um, customers have also been very forthcoming about uh, feature ideas and requests, and that is continually feeding into our roadmap. So I want to talk about some other use cases. You mentioned the child care center in New Hampshire, which sounds as though you, you helped save these parents a lot of time and, and, and alleviated some of their stress. What other kinds of use cases are you hearing? Sure. Uh, the types of apps that we've heard about include uh, like leave and vacation requests in organizations. Um, a team has built a hotel management uh, booking system, contracts management for an unemployment center, sales opportunity tracking, um, status reporting across distributed teams, which is a reality that we're all living today. Um, more specifically, we uh, 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 we know of a customer who has a 6,000 person team um, and they built an app to manage service costs requests. So this is a systems integrator and they're using this app across 10 partner teams uh, across uh, the world. Um, we've also heard about a coffee trader who uh, has built an app to manage uh, their coffee orders across both domestic and foreign markets. And previously they were doing this uh, via email and uh, through spreadsheets. So that, those are the different cases that we've heard about. 
What kinds of internal interest are you having within AWS for Honeycode? I'm, I'm told that there is a great deal of interest within the organization itself. Absolutely, yeah. There's been a lot of interest at, at Amazon. Uh, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't hear from a new team that has a use case that they need to build an app today on Honeycode. Um, and these are usually, you know, use cases that customers have been solving with spreadsheets or our internal ticketing tool uh, because they haven't had the resources to build their own custom app. Um, there are HR team, um, uh, one of the HR teams at Amazon, in fact, has built an app that is consolidating across four different tools so they can get an accurate picture of what is going on with uh, any particular team, you know, the headcount, how many roles are still to be filled, et cetera. Um, another example is a marketing team that is managing all of their uh, marketing campaigns uh, through a Honeycode app so they can see how many campaigns have we already executed this month? How many still remain? What are the results from these campaigns? All of this uh, in one place. And um, in fact, in the Honeycode team itself, uh, we uh, uh, use Honeycode for uh, managing all of our internal processes from our product roadmap to uh, program management to managing and tracking our goals. And because we're also distributed these days, um, we seem to be spinning up an app on, on a practically daily basis. In fact, today the team is running a hackathon and all of the ideas for the hackathon were um, gathered on a Honeycode app. And then later today we'll be doing demos and voting uh, on the, the best uh, hackathon project. So it's, it's given rise to a lot of new ideas and a, a lot of new ways in which uh, we're, we're able to work together collaboratively. Well, an app a day. I, I love it. Um, so it does sound like the kind of the collaboration you're describing and the ways in, in the transparency, particularly during this these COVID times when people, as you say, were working dispersed, teams are remote, um, there's a lot of isolation. It, it does seem like it's it's really a revelation of what you're what you're doing here. Yeah, it's been really, uh, it's been a learning experience for us as well, you know, working remotely and trying to figure out how do we keep uh, each other up to date on what we're doing? How do we make sure that, uh, you know, we, we find ways to replace those hallway conversations, those water cooler conversations, as we like to call them. Uh, and, and so we find ourselves uh, interacting via these apps a lot more, trying to keep uh, everyone abreast of what we're doing by updating project status and so on. In addition, of course, to, you know, uh, uh, meetings um, online on video. Uh, it, it has certainly helped us all stay on the same page. In fact, um, Honeycode, the product launch itself was managed via Honeycode uh, app. And normally that's something that, you know, most other teams either build a custom app for or manage uh, via a, a spreadsheet and probably hundreds of post-it notes. So the, the product is relatively new, but you had some announcements last week at AWS uh, reInvent. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, in the last few weeks, we've had a, a slew of uh, new announcements, and they fall into three uh, major areas, really. Um, integrations, uh, identity, and app building features. Um, for the first, we announced um, integrations with Amazon AppFlow and Zapier. Uh, to integrate with external data sources to push and pull data into and out of Honeycode. Um, we also announced the ability to set up and log in with multiple identity providers, including Okta and Google, to make it easier for our customers to uh, manage, manage user accounts, um, as well as for single sign-on. And last but not least, uh, we've announced a, a several features to make it easier for app builders, as well as the end users of these apps, um, not only to make the apps more functional, but also more delightful to use. And these include uh, features like border styles, uh, conditional styling, as well as easier ways to sort and filter your data in your app screens. You use the word delightful, which is, which is absolutely an adjective that so many of us uh, associate with Amazon. Tell us a little bit about how you are working to make these, uh, the, the, the user interface more delightful, as you say. Yeah, we're uh, continually adding new features to make it easier so, you know, every business user doesn't have to think like a UX designer. So we're, we're trying to um, think about the ways uh, you, you, you look at all the productivity apps today. You, you want certain sets of data to pop up in your app. 
Uh, for example, you know, if the status of a, a project is read, not only do you want it to notify the appropriate parties, but you also want that information to pop up um, in an app. So uh, it's very easy just using a very simple expression. You can set up the rules, the conditional rules to say, hey, if the status is red, then, you know, make sure or, or status is delayed, then pop it up in, you know, bright red. So uh, it catches my eye the next time I look and uh, look at an app. So we're trying to find ways to, uh, you know, thinking about all of the business use cases, trying to find ways to help customers make the information um, pop better in their apps. So they're, uh, so they, you know, deliver more value um, in businesses. You mentioned Zapier and Amazon App Flow. What are the business use cases in terms of those, and what are they? What are available now? Yeah, so uh, both uh, integrations with Zapier and App Flow enable customers to build even richer applications because now they're, uh, you know, previously they were building applications just based on the data that was sitting in in Honeycode, and with these integrations now they can bring in data from other sources programmatically. So these include integrations to apps like Salesforce or Slack, Jira, Amazon S3, et cetera. And uh, this makes it possible for business users to use uh, Zapier or AppFlow uh, to, to build um, powerful integrations. So I'll give you an example. Um, let's say a sales team can use uh, a honey code to build an app to process their sales inquiries. And uh, instead of dealing with emails and spreadsheets, what they can do is use Zapier to automatically pull in requests that come into their website. Um, and this can be pulled straight into a Honeycode app, which can then generate a notification to the sales manager to approve a quote. Um, and then the quote can be generated in email to the customer. All of this is made possible through um, an integration with, uh, with Zapier. And you can integrate with Amazon AppFlow uh, uh, to pull in data from Salesforce. So it, it makes it possible for customers to um, use more up-to-date information in their apps, making it uh, driving better decisions and uh, more informed decisions. And what type of new templates are now available? Yeah, uh, back in June when we launched, we uh, had about 10 templates uh, for common use cases in businesses. And since then we've been you know, regularly adding more to that repository. Uh, our most recent additions to the template library include uh, the ability to run meetings virtually, which we're doing um, eight hours a day these days, instant polls, uh, a collaborative brainstorming template, um, as well as applicant tracking. And we'll continue to add more in uh, the coming months. So there's just no question that this is such a high growth area. Uh, Gartner estimated last year that low code, no code approaches will represent more than 65% of application development inside companies by 2024. Forrester's also projecting uh, $21 billion by 2024. What, I want you to look into your crystal ball here and just tell us a little bit about what you're expecting in the next six to 12 months and, what, and what's, what you're hoping for the future for Amazon Honeycode. We remain focused on, uh, you know, helping business users solve problems that were previously out of their reach because they either lacked the resources or the skills or support from IT. Um, Honeycode apps have the scale and security that customers expect from an AWS service. And over time, uh, we expect to add more features that make it progressively easier for business users to develop without needing how to learn how to code. And we'll also expect to add features uh, that are required by IT departments for adoption in um, enterprises. Mira, what are you hearing from customers about what, they, what they're wanting to hear from you? Just, I want you to close us out here and, and give us what you're hearing and then what your best advice is for managers who are thinking about uh, trying to adopt some of these low-code, no-code approaches and are, and are interested in what they're hearing in terms of what you're saying about the collaboration and transparency that these, that these tools provide. Yeah, um, the, these, these tools make it possible for uh, anyone in any business, you know, HR, marketing, program managers, product managers, really um, anyone to uh, build applications that are very specific and tailored to, you know, your business needs. And these, because these applications don't require the typical process of 
uh, uh, you know, selecting a database, selecting the storage layer, selecting all of these things, um, and they're deployed almost immediately. Like as soon as an app is built, it's available to the end users to use. It makes it possible for the applications to evolve with your needs. Um, in fact, this is this is what I see every day with the apps that we build uh, for ourselves. Is you know, it works this week. Next week, we're like, hmm, what if we tried something slightly differently? Uh, uh, because our our uh, you know, we, we we become more efficient. Our techniques evolve over time, uh, uh, and the, the the situation changes as we're seeing every day uh, uh, in COVID times. So it makes it possible to just uh, to, to have the applications grow with you as your business grows and evolves. And um, so that's what's really exciting uh, for me with uh, Honeycode is um, uh, things that were, uh, you know, usually uh, out of the reach of, of business users. Now, uh, you know, they're able to build these applications and they use the exact same skills that uh, they might have used with spreadsheets. So uh, that's what's really exciting. And we're going to continue to listen to our customers. And uh, we know that business users want to be more productive and want easier to use tools. And that's what we'll be working on. Mira Vaidyanathan, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. It was a real pleasure talking to you. Likewise, thank you so much. And thank you for tuning in to theCUBE's coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. I'm Rebecca Knight, stay tuned. <laughs>